out. You are lucky you didn't touch her. You come back here. You're dead. What do you want now? With a warrant to search your premises, including your workshop. Jesus. You lot are a joke. Knock yourselves out. And we need you to come with us. Why is that? We're arresting you in connection with the murder of Ellen Quinn. There he is. Bobby Escobar. Keep your voice down. What's the deal then? Patience. How about a drink first? Oh, I've got time for that. Meantime, Bobby. Because I'm not going into business with a man who won't share a drink with me. I'm not saying we couldn't work together, but if I'm being honest, I'm still not sure of your motives. Money is my motive. You can't be doing that badly, Bobby. This isn't exactly a small holding. The farm's in trouble. How bad? They could lose it. The bank got their way would be gone already. What's the family saying about it? And they don't know. Christ knows I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> Marie Hunter? <laughs> Aye. I mean Marie had a thing. <laughs> what about uh Kirsty gun? Oh, no, 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 no. That was nothing. I did see her sister for a few months. What about uh Jane? Oh. Beaten? Beaten? Aye. Nearly get engaged. What happened? Didn't fancy the farm life. <laughs> what about you and uh, Calder? Eh? You were thick as thieves back in the day. Like uh, Bonnie and Clyde or something. Aye, missed my chance there. What about Stella? What about her? Well, she must have had some exes. No. No, Stella's one man woman. It's not what I heard. What did you hear? Oh, I heard there was a wee bit of scandal before Karen. Someone that should have known better. Man of the cloth, maybe. So that's four hours drinking, then? And talking. About what? Mostly talked about, yeah. How much did Carl have to drink? Not sure I should answer that. Yes, you fucking should. You don't seem too concerned. Still and Kieran seem better. Better how? Well, they're talking for a start. Aye, well, let's hope he can talk some sense into her. That girl needs reminding who her family is. What's that supposed to mean? It means she had no right breaking bread with an oxes. Breaking bread? Are you serious? She went over to talk to the boy. You're defending her. She just lost her daughter. And that means we have to hand over everything we've worked for. Everything I worked for! Me! You mentioned that you'd seen their daughter. Okay. Look, I went to see Ellen to try and persuade her to come home. Stella had been missing her. We, we all were. I thought it'd be a nice surprise if I brought her back with me. I didn't tell them because I wasn't sure if Ellen would agree. Don't want to disappoint them. And I take it Ellen didn't agree? Obviously. Is that why you argued? Ellen's neighbour took that photo. Said you two had a row so bad, she had to call the police. Did you and Ellen argue often? Is that why she ran off to London? It wasn't as dramatic as all that. OK. Here's the thing, Bobby. We think Ellen left Shetland for a reason. And we think that reason was you. I had no issues with Ellen. But did she have issues with you? Was she scared of you? She runs away to London. You follow her down there. You're arguing with her. I mean, come on. I'm not going to come out and say it, but you have to admit what it looks like. Don't you fucking dare! That girl was my family.
How did this happen, Bobby? Dad died. Um, flew up as soon as I got the call. I went to Stella and I stayed. I mean, we were kids. It seemed like it at the time, but that's what we were. The second night we We got drunk. I had a bottle of malt. It was, it was one of my dad's. I want it written, written down. But it wasn't Stella. You tell him I forced myself on her. I was low. Maybe because of my dad's anniversary. Because I was about to lose as the farm. But I was 45 years old and nothing to show for it. All I had was Ellen. It's just the only thing in my life. <laughs>